Hi, it's Michelle Turner from Movement Lesson, and did you know that a lot of uh, symptoms from carpal tunnel syndrome actually stem from the back? However, most people end up getting very focused on the uh, mobility, or I should say lack of mobility in the hands. So, um, the wrist gets very fixed, and obviously you have the swelling, and that's what affects, quote, the nerve through here. So here's a great little lesson that you can do to work on the mobility through the arm um, for your hands. So just step away from your computer, sit back. I'm in an armchair. I might snitch over just a little bit just to give myself a tad more room, but um, just so you know, it can be done in a chair. And just lay your hands on your lap. You know, and just notice how they're laying there. Um, are the hands a little bit contracted? Um, are, the, are the fingers up, you know, versus just laying down? And now with that, just in this position, very gently and slowly, just roll the elbow towards your tush or your iliac crest. Right here in the, the hip bone area, just, just feel what it's like to roll. Now for some of you it might be very difficult depending on what kind of habitual contractions you might have through the arm. So just if you need to, just notice A how you're breathing or if you're even breathing. Um, and again, if anything, visualize it or just not I'm not doing these super huge movements. I'm just gently rolling my elbow towards my tush. And then just rest for a second. Notice I'm only doing the right side. And just rest for a second, and, and now I want you to contract not only the hands, just get them really tight, but clench your jaw, go, and let go. And just keep repeating this several times. And rest for a second, and again, you can do that more, I'm just doing this for sake if you really don't need me to do it. Sit there and do that. And just go back and roll the elbow back towards your tush again. You might notice a lot more uh, participation like in my hands or on my shoulders. But I'm really just concentrating on like if I had a little string on what my elbow is doing. And even when I'm doing something like this, you can see how, how I'm starting to tilt my pelvis even more. But see if I just roll this elbow. And now just with that, or you can repeat it again, just notice, does your right hand feel a little bit different than your left hand? See, even you can see it on me. I actually went to lift here versus, see, lifting up on the right side versus the left. You can see I have a tad more contraction you know, because the way the right hand's coming up. And just see if that um, helps with the mobility in the hand. You'd be surprised how, again, a lot of these elbows not moving great, shoulders not moving great, whatever, hands just the least. It's very hard to have fine motor skills through all this conversation. So you want to change conversation through here, through here. And notice too, how's your breathing? Hold your breath and try and roll your elbow. Well, there's very little movement that's going to probably achieve this way. Let it go. Let your belly out and see, is there any difference in moving the elbow? And just play with it. But I think you'll be surprised with the mobility. And again, here, you can see the difference versus here, just from that little bit. Of course, I'm right-handed versus left, so I'm going to have a different vocabulary with this hand that I will with that hand, it's going to happen just naturally. However, I can now work on this hand with hopes that it learned from this, what the improvements from this hand and go from there. So just have fun, play with your elbows. By the way, this is a nice little thing you can do when you're driving. Now don't do it obviously when you're doing 85, but if you're just parked at a light and you've got your hands on the wheel, feel what it's like to just roll your elbow. From the steering wheel. You know, if you're like this driving, guess what? There's 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 no roll. And then you can just play with that. So horseback riding. Are you like this? Can you just walk with the horse? Look at the activities that you do that are hand related and sitting. And now, or can you hold the reins like this and just roll that elbow? Thanks.